Thank you very much. Good morning, everyone. Okay. This morning, I will share with you just a little bit of what the Council of Community Colleges of Jamaica is doing with respect to sustainability. So, the Council of Community Colleges of Jamaica, we're an agency of the Ministry of Education and Youth in Jamaica. We have responsibility for 10, multi, 10 member institutions. These are multidisciplinary, community colleges, and polytechnic. Now, this is our island, small island, but you know we are big and strong. So there are about 22 sites on our island, and that is important to us. So the CCCJ, we supervise and coordinate the work of these 10 institutions. Specifically, we provide curriculum development, curriculum review, we standardize examination and assessment, and we standardize certification. We are in our 20th year. So we are small, but we are doing a lot. Now, when we look at um, SDG 2, in terms of our curricula, just 2020, we thought we would make agriculture more attractive. So we developed a curriculum that would address agro-processing and business management. Our, our island, we have a lot of, we do a lot of farming. Not enough for us to sustain ourselves as a country because we do import, but we are, as a council, we are working towards ensuring that our practices, our agriculture practices, they are smart and we can feed ourselves. So we look at SDG 4. We want to make ensure that quality, affordable education is accessible to all. At the community colleges, our multidisciplinary and our polytechnic institutions, we make access more we make access easier. So I spoke to the locations. You would look, if you look at the map, you'll see that we are strategically located almost in every parish. And the one parish we are not in, how do I do this? It's Trelawney, and that is because it is close to the other parishes. I think some of you call those provinces and states and so on. Now, this will, we hope, will reduce migration from parish to parish. Our national university and our regional university is located all the way in on one side of the island. So to prevent persons from traveling, so you will have to think about accommodation cost, relocation. So with our strategic plan or location, persons will now be able to access quality education in their local. We also make our programs affordable. So in Jamaica, the cost and education, it is subsidized by the government. Our learners still have to pay a good amount for education. So the, con the council in coordinating its curriculum, its activities ensures that le learners can access the education at a cheaper rate. Now, flexible program offering. Prior to COVID, we offered strictly face-to-face. -face. However, there were different modalities. We had full-time, part-time, and we had weekends. Some institutions had early morning. So we were quite flexible then. But COVID came in and forced us. This was something we wanted to do a long time ago, but COVID-19 forced us to go virtual. So we were able to transfer virtual. 
we took it a step further because we recognize that persons would have their unique circumstances. They want to access affordable quality education, so we offered online. So we have programs that can now be offered face-to-face, full-time, part-time, weekend, virtual, online, or hybrid. So we are making access to higher education easier for our learners. All our programs co will come with a skill-based component. We recognize the importance of a skill, hence our programs are so structured for skills-based. Skills our learners are given the opportunity in all our programs to demonstrate these skills, to interact with the industry for 240 hours. When we look at sustainable SDG 5, um, equality, gender equality. We started this year our Girls in IT competition, and that was in recognition with the general, the International Girls in IT Day. And we went a step further and we did Girl Boss. So we want to empower our women. We have found, though, that like many of you in your countries, our men, are fewer, fewer of our men are accessing tertiary education. That also we are looking at. And so our programs, when we do our recruitment for our programs, we try to make them more um, technological because our men gravitate towards the technology. So we make them more technologically advanced. When we look at SDG 17, Partnerships. We have developed partnerships with many institutions, institutions in Canada, institutions in the U.S. And we are here because we are looking for other partnerships. Just uh, um, a few weeks ago, one of our faculty um, at the Secretariat received the ELAP scholarship through the Canadian government to participate in a short um, study period to look at uh, micro-credentials. So we are getting there. Thank you very much for having me.